If you want to embed a fast and responsive Instagram feed like this without having to pay a single cent, you clicked on the right video. I'm going to show you how to do this in just a few easy steps with no coding needed. To get started on your WordPress dashboard on the left hand side, hover over plugins and click on add new plugin. Next, on the right hand side, we're going to search for Smash Balloon, just like this. And the plugin we want is this one here, Social Photo Feed. We can tap install now. And once installed, we can activate the plugin too. Now the plugin has been installed and activated. On this menu, we can now see a button here that says launch the setup wizard. Let's click on that. And for our first step, we'll have to connect our Instagram account. Click add new. And over here, you can choose whether your Instagram account is a basic or business account. For this video, let's continue with basic. And now we can click on connect with Instagram. This will take you into Instagram and you'll be asked if you want to connect your Instagram account with the plugin. We can click on allow. And finally, we'll get this pop up here asking you to confirm if this is your domain. You can click yes, it's my domain. Now, back inside the plugin, we can see our Instagram account added as a source. So we can click Next. And on this menu, we can see all the different features we want to enable with the plugin. If you want to install the other Smash Balloon social feed plugins for Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and TikTok, you can leave this toggled on. And if you want to display your reviews on your website as well, you can leave the Customer Reviews plugin toggled on as well. Then, we'll scroll down all the way to the bottom and click Next. And if you'd like to, you can also opt in to try out these amazing plugins too. We have the all-in-one SEO toolkit, Analytics by Monster Insight, and Forms by WP Forms. Once you're happy with that, click Install Selected Plugins. Now just sit back and wait for the plugin to install. And just like that, our setup is complete. And if we scroll down, you'll have an option here to upgrade to Instagram Feed Pro for 50% off. To claim this offer, you can click on the button here. Otherwise, we can continue by clicking the button at the bottom. Complete setup without upgrade. Let's click on that. Now we can get started on creating our Instagram feed. Let's click Add New. And over here, we can select our feed type. With Instagram Feed Pro, you can create a feed of posts from any user timeline, a feed of posts from any public hashtag, or feed of posts that you are tagged in. But with the free version of the plugin, we can only create a user timeline feed that's already selected for us, so we can click Next. And since we added our Instagram account earlier, it is now available as a source, so we can select it, then click Next. And straight away, you can see a live preview of your new Instagram feed inside the plugin. The feed that we created is displaying the latest post from the Instagram account we connected as a source. We can now go and embed this inside a WordPress web page. But before I show you how to do that, let me show you how we can customize this feed. On the left-hand side, under the Customize tab, click on Feed Layout. Inside this menu, you can find several options to modify the layout of your Instagram feed. At the top, you'll notice that we have the grid layout selected. This one displays your Instagram posts in rows and columns. But alternatively, if you want to try out different layouts, you'll have to upgrade to Instagram Feed Pro. But for this video, let's stick with the grid layout and customize it further. If you scroll down, over here, you can select the number of posts you want to display inside the feed. Currently, we're displaying 20 posts, as you can see inside the preview. But if you want to modify that, just enter the number of posts you want to display inside desktop. For example, let's go with nine posts. And just like that, the changes have been made inside the live preview. Next, if you want to modify the number of columns inside the feed, you can do so over here for desktop, tablet, and mobile. Currently, we have four columns inside the feed. But once again, to modify it, just open this up and select the number of columns you want to display. For this tutorial, let's go with three columns. And straight away, you can see inside the preview that we now have three columns inside our Instagram feed. And once you're happy with the layout of your Instagram feed, click Save on the top right corner. Next, if you want to modify the color palette of your Instagram feed, under the Customize tab, once again, go into Color Scheme. Inside this menu, you can see that it's currently set to Inherit from Theme, which means that your Instagram feed will automatically match the design of your WordPress theme. Alternatively, you can go with the Light Theme, Dark Theme, or even a Custom Theme that allows you to select the exact colors you want for your feed, just like this. And once you've found a color scheme you're happy with, make sure to click Save on the top right corner. And now that you know how to create and customize your Instagram feed, let me show you how we can embed it inside your WordPress web page. To do that, click on Embed on the top right corner, copy your dedicated shortcode, then click on Add to a page. Next, select the page you want to add your feed to, then click Add. And now on our WordPress web page, we have two different options to embed our Instagram feed. The first option is by using a shortcode block and pasting the shortcode that we copied earlier like this. Alternatively, if you're using Block Editor, you can use a dedicated Instagram feed block like this. Once that's done, we can click Save and check out what it looks like on the live web page. And here we are now on our live WordPress web page, and right in the middle is our brand new Instagram feed that we just created. It only took a few steps, and the feed is now displaying the latest content from our Instagram account that we connected. At the top of the feed, we have a header, which shows the account profile picture and your Instagram account name as well. Underneath that, we have all the posts in a grid layout that we created with nine posts in three columns. At the bottom of the feed, if we click on load more, that will load additional posts inside your Instagram feed directly on your WordPress website. Next to that button, we'll also have a follow on Instagram button. If I click on that, that will take your site visitors directly to your Instagram page, making it super easy to convert site visitors into Instagram followers. And if anyone wants a closer look at one of your Instagram posts, they can simply click on it like this, and they can view that post directly from Instagram. But what if you wanted to take your Instagram feed to the next level? Let's talk about Instagram Feed Pro. 
With the pro version of the plugin, you can create an Instagram feed, but with a lot more features. With the pro version of the plugin, you get two additional feed types. You can create a feed of posts from any public hashtag or a feed of posts that you were tagged in as well. You also get access to feed themes. That gives you a variety of feed designs to help your feed stand out on your site. When it comes to your feed layout, you can choose from additional options like the carousel, masonry, and highlight layouts. You'll also get powerful moderation options so that you have complete control over the posts you display inside your Instagram feed. If all of this sounds good to you, visit smashballoon.com to check out Instagram Feed Pro. Alternatively, you can try out the free version of the plugin like I showed you in this tutorial. If you experience any technical issues, please contact our awesome support team. They'd be happy to help you out. And please consider subscribing for social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.